welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to draw a fried egg pattern t-shirt. I'm write down some words on my Photoshop program, and I make a font change and size and all, and then I'm going to print it out. And I prepare the thin plastic film and I stick it up what I printed out, put it underneath and then by soldering iron I'm going to follow the letter outline. The thin plastic film you can use such as um, OHP films or I used a laminating pouch film. Actually, it wasn't that easy to make a straight line by the machine. So when you make a straight line, you can use a cutting knife or you have to practice a lot of things. You can gently take out the pieces while you cut it. Now I'm going to sketch two fried eggs. One is a little bit flat and one is a little bit round. And put the plastic film on top of this and draw by permanent marker. And by soldering iron again, I'm going to make it whole by that, follow that uh, sketching line what I draw. Carefully, just follow the drawing line and slowly, slowly, just moving that machine. Now let's start to paint. Okay, back side of the shirt, jacket. I put the uh, film on top of this and put the scotch tape on to fix it. I'm going to use the sponge. Fold it half and put the scotch tape on top. It's more round, too easy to use. Okay, and black color, white, and textile medium. Firstly, black I'm going to use because I'm going to use a gradation color, black to white. The black one I mix by brush, put the little bit color on the sponge, a little bit, little bit. And then from top, I'm gently pressing. Don't press too hard. I lift the space down a little bit because I'm going to put the gradation color. Okay, black one, black one first. And gray. Don't just be very dry, not soggy too much. Then color we spread from underneath the film. Film. Okay, a little bit white I can do. Okay, let it dry, dry. And after dry, I put a little bit black color for highlight top. My brush also highlight. Now after a few minutes, let it dry and let's take it out the film. Done. In front of the baby jacket, I'm going to put the egg 
fried egg pattern. Okay, the film ready. And cut the sponge again. Make it round. And I'm going to use white and yellow. In the white color, I'm, I mixed a little bit acrylic color with the textile medium, of course. And put the color gently, and you can do it to three times after dried. And now, over the zip portion, black zip portion, I put the masking tape. It's just normal uh, scotch tape. I put it on there. And then, on top of that, I make another white egg. There's a lot of wrinkles there, so I use my brush to paint it properly and clearly. Okay, now another egg white. I'm going to draw the other side again by sponge. Spread it gently. I have to do it two, three times. Then the white color is coming out more clearly. Now we're almost done, egg white done, now yellow and acrylic color, I'm going to mix to make color thicker. And then textile medium, actually I need uh, color very less. Okay, mix up properly, and then I made a egg white, egg yellow. Film. Yellow color comes much easier than white color. Oh, when you put the yellow color, it's so cute. It's like a flower. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. Yellow one, you can do it faster because there's a color underneath white. Okay, clothes is ready with this cute pattern. Now let's iron. Open the tip. Before iron, if you touch the painting part, it's a little bit tough. But once it iron, it's much softer and smooth surface. And there is not a cotton jacket, so iron has to be a little bit low heat and different fabric and different uh, temperature of the ironing has to be done like a very thin and very delicate fabric you cannot iron it even you can then you can dry hair by hair dryer you just put a little bit heat on it that's enough okay done everything zip up Perfect. My cute little daughter be my model. And thank you for watching.